Hey, this is Scott Mosier with TDH Manufacturing. Just here today to tell you a little bit about our pump hoist. Um, this is a Parker VPL hydraulic valve that we use. Um, uh, this particular one here is 11 bank. Each specific bank is set up for the function that it operates, whether it's the winch, the sand line, outriggers, or any function on the truck. It has a certain flow and a certain function that was specifically designed um, for that unit. And what that does in layman's terms is it gives you extremely smooth and controlled operation of every function on this rig. Our winches are some of the fastest um, single speed winches on the market today. Um, you can run them from two feet a minute to up to 500 feet a minute. Um, this rig is extremely smooth and it all starts right here with this Parker um, bank setup that we have right the here. The unit is actually mounted right below here. Um, if for some reason you ever had an issue and you wanted to run the truck manually, each one of these levers functions everything on the truck. It's right below this deck. Take out a couple screws and you can run anything on the entire rig manually. Uh, the control panel functions everything here, so whether it's a switch will function each individual control from your pipe racks um, up and down, um, you know, those two functions are right here. And so, for example, these two banks right here um, only deliver two and a half gallon a minute. Um, so it makes your pipe racks go up and down just really smooth, nice and slow um, to where it's controlled and they're not banging and slamming around and everything. Um, your joysticks, you know, here's your two winches. They're the first two in the bank. You know, they take about 30 gallon a minute. And again, too, they're specifically set up to run winches, nothing else. Um, so just some of the nice features that we've set up here that, uh, that, that give you a lot of control on this truck. and. Um, make it one of the smoothest uh, uh, you know what the the um, everything on here is IP67 rated which is which is rated for direct power washer right at it and everything all of these controls are 1 million cycles whether it's the switches or anything they're rated against salt water um, any part of that um, this panel is totally waterproof um, anyway um, everything's sealed up, even the HMI screen right here that shows your oil temperature, your hydraulic pressure. We've got PTO hours. Here's your mass load. Um, you can switch screens. And since we have a weight load indicator on this, this truck's going uh, to uh, Abbas Pump in uh, Oregon. Um, and so he'll be single part up to three part line in it. And he can tell which part line he's got on there, he can tear it out and um, know exactly what he's got on the hook, whether he's single part or three. Um, this also controls the fan. Um, so the fan's gonna kick on at 120 degrees. Um, it'll stay on for at least five minutes. Um, and if it gets temperature below that, it'll shut off. Um, it's gonna alarm out at about 180 degrees um, letting you know that your oil's getting over temperature. And if, if you don't uh, pay attention to it and let it cool down, uh, at 195, it's gonna shut it down. The fan's gonna stay on so it continues to cool, but you're not gonna be able to run anything until you let the oil cool down uh, back under 180 degrees. So how does this compare to uh, our competitors? I, as you can see here, this is, uh, you know, functions here. Um, this is one of our competitors' rigs. Uh, for instance, you cannot run the main line and the sand line on this unit at the same time. So you have to switch between the main line and the sand line. On ours, you can run them at the same time. You can use the sand line for a layout, um, whatever you want to use it for. Um, you'll find that uh, like with the outriggers and everything, they're extremely fast, but they're almost too fast. They rock the rig and stuff. They're really narrow. They got narrow bases on the feet. Uh, ours have big 12 inch pads and stuff. Um, our winches are mounted up into the mast itself. So you can rig up and everything and you do not have to adjust 
the winches um, as you're masting up or down. Um, everything is direct pull in conjunction when you get up. Um, but just, you know, they still manufacture, been around forever, and, um, but everything, this is a, a late 1980s unit, um, but it's still manufactured the exact same way today. 